Hey guys, what is up? It's Total Eclipse here and today we're looking at another guide in the Fallout universe and as you can see in front of me we have the uh, animated billboard. Now this is just the first iteration of what I've been doing and it has taken a while. Uh, now what we're going to do is actually show you how to build one of these. This is where the magic happens. As you guys can see, this is hellish. Like when you think of um, cable management on your PC. This is not what comes to mind and it has taken me hours to fully plug in just so that we can have those six words. Now what I really wanted to do was actually do mini animations like maybe have Pac-Man going across the screen. Uh, the problem with that unfortunately is uh, you can't change the color with the the separate light boxes so each one has to stay the same color as the the next time it's lit up. So here we are ready to start uh, the uh, basic intro to how to do this. I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible. Really I need to clear all of this, at least some of it. Um, so here is our test area. I'm just going like, to clear it up a bit more. We stick all the generators will get a couple more as well. Yeah. Now if you are doing big builds like this I highly recommend downloading the um, one of the mods, the settlement expanded settlements mod which is very good. It's allowed me to build this. Um, it's quite big and I'm still working on it. Once I've finished it I will show it to you guys and I intend to do a rather large settlement at every single settlement that I own. Okay, so we're just going to um, place down our light boxes. We're just going to do a little one here. Uh, first thing I highly recommend doing is we're going to stick that here. This isn't for power, this little pylon. This is as a point of reference. Uh, I'm going to place that in the middle. Some more lights. Now that these are just a, a point of reference, um, as I just mentioned, simply because once you start to make very large signs like that one over there, it gets very complicated after the first two words to actually keep everything together um, and actually see where you're going. But we'll we'll get to that in a in a little bit. First things first, we want a power counter. In fact we're going to go with two. We're just going to go with a very simple build but you'll get the idea. Um, I promise you. And if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the box below as I will be answering them all and I will try to solve every question that I'm given. Uh, next thing we need is a computer. The computer is important. Right, so for two things. First one, we need to set the this, otherwise it's going to be so slow at swapping between the, the um, on and off. So go to the interval switch, we're going to set the on time to one second. Sorry, I should have done that slower really, shouldn't I? Click the one second, and then go back to the set off time, also to one second. Now what that does is have the power go on for one second, off for one second, on for one second. The next thing you need to do is go to the power counters and set them um, however many um, cycles you want. So, for example, I'm only going to set this to one one no we'll do two we're gonna set the cycles for two and I'll tell you the reason behind that so the cycle count if we watch here will cycle three times so you've got your zero your one and then your two and then it will go back to zero when it's on zero it will light up uh, which is obviously quite simple uh, nothing new there so if, for example, we placed it on this G here, we will have it on every three seconds. Or it might be six seconds. One second on, one second off, six seconds. 
so as you can see there you are and if for example we wanted another one over here don't know what this is going to be it's going to be something there like a little I have no idea work for me and then we'll also stick that against this one now they'll both light up at the same time because they're on the same counters so you have that but if we remove this for one second okay so now it should be alternate with a pause in between so here we go one pause one two pause so there you get the basic idea of flashing in Fallout 4 flashing did he say uh, yes yeah. so what you now need to do if you have your two letters overlapping one another this is where it gets a little bit frustrating because it will count as a complete circuit and either these two will syncopate together and st get stuck on or you well, syncopate together or they'll just be stuck on. What I'll do, just to, to give you a quick uh, idea, is if I connect these across like this. Now are they both, you see they're both on rather than separate. So it is important not to mix the connectors. Now has that kept them in sync now? That would be a pain if it had. Okay, that's fine. That's good news. That is good news. Didn't want any more work than I had to. Now, if... I'm going to have to remove these now. If you wanted the letters to... Uh, if you wanted the letters to overlap, uh, the important thing with this is... Oh. Sorry. Just the light box. Stick you back in not to have them oh I keep doing that I'm just going to keep doing that now I'm just trying to take off the wires the important thing is not to have them all connected because it creates a full circuit and then all the power goes on this is why cable management sucks over there what you need to do is place one wire to each that um light that you want to go on so what you'll have is T okay and what we're gonna do is just put an X across it as well to make matters a little bit more complicated so with this one what we're going to do is place again on separate wires where we want everything to go so for example we want we have an X, seeing as you can use my name, we have it go across like this. If you're starting to get confused, there's so many wires and you don't know where to place it. Um, you've got your point of, what did I say it was? I've forgotten, my mind's gone dead. Um, point of recognition. So if I go down, I know that I've started the X here. This is where the left one is. As you can see, I can't place anything there. But if I go to the right, I can, um, and then right again, I know that's where the other part of the X needs to go. So you just need to think about it quite, um, not smartly, but you just need to be aware. Um, if it's highlighted white, you can place it there. If it's not, you know that you've already placed something there, which means it's your point of reference uh, for the rest of that X. This X is going to look weird because we have one there, nothing there, one there. So if we stick that one down, damn it. Thankfully, this is a really easy, oh God, a really simple one. So you don't need to worry about getting it wrong too much. However, I did do that on that one on the very uh, the penultimate word um, on cities and I had a 
light going like two places in and it threw it all off and I had to spend ages trying to um, change it back to how it should be. Okay, this TX isn't going to look very good, this is just a pre-warning. But there you go, so they should now have TX on a... Oh shoot, of course. Now what you saw there, we've got the T, the X, what has happened, as I pointed out earlier, this was totally part of the video, totally meant to be, because... That doesn't make sense actually, they're not connected. Okay, we're just going to remove them and hopefully nothing's gone wrong. So you've got your T and then you've got your X. And you can change the colour. You can change it just manually here. But the problem is that that colour block is going to stay that colour, which means actually doing animations that are moving about are difficult because you're stuck with that color block in that position unless you have like for example Pac-Man here and then another one separated and then another one separated which obviously won't look as good but anyway there is the very basics to the flashing uh, sign we've got it here I hope you enjoyed the video if you did obviously please like it again if you have any questions if you're not sure what you're doing if you're confused or something's broken and you can't figure it out uh, let me know in the comment section below and I will try my best to um, sort it out for you as you can see uh, it is time consuming but it is possible and I will be working I think on a, a little um, shutter style animation but that is a video for another day thank you very much for watching guys now i do hope you found this video helpful i tried to make it as concise as possible uh, if you did please drop me a thumbs up it really is appreciated and it does go a long way to know that i'm actually helping people out if you do have any questions obviously just drop them in the comment section below or even shoot me a message on my um message inbox screen um, as I will get back to you as soon as possible and try and help you out as best as I can and if I can't I'm sure someone else who is watching this video will be able to help you if you haven't subscribed already please do if you are enjoying my videos we've got loads coming up and I am hoping to do subscriber giveaways um, but that will be slightly further along if I get to 500 subscribers that's what I'm aiming for so obviously we need you, your subscribe counts. Uh, if you found the video helpful, but it's still a bit over your head, have a look at the video, which is going to be just here. Uh, that's going to be the video that I did earlier on um, light box and switches, and but just the basics of that, whereas this is slightly more advanced. And if you uh, want to see my new build, which is going to be in this area here, um, I won't have a link until it's actually up and that will be next week as I'm moving into a new uh, room. Uh, but anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day, evening, whatever it is. Uh, Total Clips out.